Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, I'm going to be testing the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti in 2021. Now, this one is the Zotac Amp Edition of the card. For some reason, it doesn't have LEDs. I, I would like to see those here in the 1660 Ti, but this one was one of the cheaper models. And I say was because you can't really buy them anymore. <laughs> Now the 1660 Ti released two years ago in February of 2019, yes it has been two years already, what the heck. It has 6 gigabytes of VRAM which is still pretty decent and it came in at $279. I actually bought this one for 270 euros, but enough about prices because you just, you can't buy cards these days, why am I even reviewing this? Now it might still help somebody and it gives us an idea on how this GPU performs. But okay, let's just install this in the system and see what it can do in early 2021, shall we? And we are now in the desktop, my friends. You can see the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti showing up there in MSI Afterburner. You can see it's full specs here in Tech Power Ups GPU Z. And we are running it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigs of RAM to avoid any CPU bottlenecks, of course. But in most games you'll get the same FPS with something more adequate like a Ryzen 5 3600. And let's get into our first game which is Red Dead Redemption 2. And let's go through the settings, we're playing at 2560 by 1440 using the balanced preset right at the middle of the slider there. Uh, as you can see it's basically medium settings, some things are set to ultra, some things are set to low, some things are in between. I think the game looks really good with these settings and it's still manages to perform really well with the GTX 1660 Ti. So where the heck is Roach? Roach, come over here, boy. We are in Saint Denis, which is one of the most intensive cities in this game. And uh, yeah, the FPS are dropping down into the low 40s at times. You could lower the settings and get 60 FPS, no problem. But yeah, this is how I would play the game. I don't mind 40-ish FPS here on average in Red Dead 2 because it's a single player type title and I would prefer the higher resolution at 1440p instead of 1080 uh, and the higher settings because the game does look beautiful like this there's not too much difference between medium and high or ultra can we make it bro yes we did it we did it very good boy so here we are with all of this vegetation around us sometimes it does drop into the high 30s uh, but it's still completely doable still completely playable I like the experience here uh, the game looks beautiful, there was a crocodile right here, I don't know where he went, but okay, we're fine, we're fine, yeah. This is a great experience. And let's play some Valorant right now. I'm playing at 2560 by 1440 resolution using the high settings with low UI quality. Doesn't really matter for a competitive game, you know. Four times MSAA, which will make it a little bit more demanding on the GPU. But why? What is happening? What the? It's just, it's, stop, stop, I don't, I'm not shooting, okay, there we go, it's fine now, what the hell, alright, let's start counting the frames now, and, uh, this is kind of like it, the GTX Titan X, you know, it, it's very, very similar in performance in DX11 titles at least, oh god, okay, how the heck, alright guys, I still got this, I still got this, everything is fine, Okay, there we go. Uh, I got a little bit of ping or packet loss sometimes, but that's completely normal. I'm used to it at this point and uh, This is a good experience. It's it's a great experience Obviously you could run a 240 Hertz monitor with the, the 1440p resolution and the 1660 Ti. It's getting tough guys. It's getting tough. I'm not liking this. They just keep on doing this to me. <laughs> what the? What, God, what the hell did I do? <laughs> okay. No, 2v1 is not fair. It is not fair. No! No, no, no! Come on! One kill remaining. 
No, we're not gonna win. No. <laughs> and we are now playing some Call of Duty Warzone using the uh, 1440p resolution and the normal textures because if we set them too high, yeah, it goes above six gigabytes of usage. Uh, everything else is kind of set to the high settings, not completely maxed out as you can see there. I think nobody dropped with us. What the heck is this? I've never dropped in downtown alone. This is wonderful. Let's start counting our frames. And as you can see, this is quite a smooth experience and it's way better than the GTX Titan X that we tested uh, last week or a couple of weeks ago actually. And I'm comparing the two of them because in most games uh, they are very similar in performance but this is a DX12 title so it runs much better in this Turing G GPU than the Maxwell Titan X of course. Now I'm not sure but I think the performance is a little bit better than the last time that I tested the 1660 Ti in Warzone. Uh, as you can see it does drop into the low 60s there, it touched 60 FPS. I'm gonna go to the top of this building now and we're here looking at the entire city from above, it drops into the high 50s. Not a big deal to be honest, if all you want is a 60 FPS experience you can have it at 1440p high. I am feeling quite bored because I've been running around for 10 minutes already and I haven't found a single soul. Like, nobody is here. I was kind of happy about that, you know, but now 10 minutes later, it's it's just a little bit boring. <laughs> I hear shots. I finally hear shots. The game is ending in 10 seconds and uh, I, I, I really haven't seen anybody, guys. I did not see anybody. Like... What is this? <laughs> and we're now playing GTA 5, DirectX 11, 1440p resolution using the very high settings. As you can see, not everything is maxed out, by the way. Uh, advanced graphics are all turned off. And will you look at those frames? Holy moly, that is pretty good, guys. I don't know what's going on with the sensitivity, though. It's way too high, so I'm trying not to touch the mouse in this one. Let's start counting our frames and look at that. That is absolutely amazing. It's a high refresh rate experience in GTA 5. Now, this game is obviously old and uh, very easy to run and very well optimized as well. Uh, but you know what? It still looks beautiful. It's still one of the most played games today. Now, oh my gosh, we are utilizing the 5900X, but if you remember, I told you that you can get the same FPS with something like a Ryzen 5 3600, and that's absolutely true. My 3700X was absolutely capable of not bottlenecking this GPU in GTA 5 as well, so you don't need a beefy CPU to achieve these frames, sorry. And, oh my, what the heck just happened? Okay, that's the first. We're almost reaching the highlight of this video. Uh, I can't really see any rabbits with all of this grass, by the way, but there's Jack. Hello, boy. How are you doing, buddy? All good? Oh, yes, that's what I want to hear. Okay. <laughs> and we're now playing Metro Exodus. Very beautiful game at 1440p high settings, as you can see. Okay, so look at these beautiful graphics and these beautiful frames. It's a very smooth experience. I just, I, I expected it because the Titan X actually impressed me in this game. I expected it to be more demanding than what it actually is. Yeah, going outside, dropping into the 70s at times. Not sure if it's performing slightly worse than the Titan X actually. It might be. Yeah, I didn't see an FPS drop into the 50s with that GPU, but we're seeing it very close to 60. Are you sleeping, buddy? No, he, he, yes, he is sleeping. You gotta make it uh, family friendly, obviously. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got some monsters here. Beautiful. They, they're just, they're running. You're supposed to attack me. I am supposed to be the one afraid of you. Okay, can we get to the other side? Artyom? What? How? What? I... How did you climb here? I... I'm so confused and there's a big one right there. <laughs> Ooh, no, this is not water anymore. What are you doing here? <laughs> what the hell? 
Can I jump on top of you? Can you please give me a lift to the other margin of the, the river? Everybody, please! Oh, God. Look at the size of that beast. <laughs> okay, okay. The water effects looked really good, by the way. Are you dead? I see blood coming off of you. You're just ignoring me. Stop ignoring me. Stop being like Jack sometimes. What if I... He just... What the... Okay. <laughs> uh, hi, hi. What if I jump into the water? Will you eat me? No, that's very underwhelming. And it is time for Cyberbug 2077. Yes, it's still bugged even three months after its release or whatever. We're playing at 1440p resolution using the medium settings preset with high textures. As you can see, this is it. Oh my god, okay. This is actually really promising. I, I think it's getting around like maybe five to ten more FPS than the Titan X. Now, of course, in a first-person game, every time you're walking around without a car, uh, you're actually playing this game in first-person, you would want 60 FPS, but considering that this is Cyberbug, after all, and it's extremely demanding and not well-optimized whatsoever, I think this is pretty decent. You know, this is not too bad, it looks good, and the 1440p resolution makes the game sharp and crispy and beautiful, so I could play like this all day long. This is actually one of the most demanding streets that I've come across so far, and I hate this car, it just it slides way too much, but uh, yeah, it's not doing a bad job here either, as you can see, they haven't fixed pretty much anything since the release of this game, which is really uh, curious to me, you know. I guess they might be more focused in improving the PS4 and Xbox One experience because that's absolutely awful. <laughs> Did you see my guy? <laughs> oh my gosh, every time cyberpunk, uh, cyberbug. <laughs> And this is one of the optimization masterpieces from Ubisoft, it's Assassin's Creed Valhalla, very well optimized game. So much so that it's the first game that we're testing at 1080p instead of 1440p. I guess Cyberpunk was probably a little bit more demanding, but yeah, 1080p using medium settings with low anti-aliasing. Alright, here we go, so at least it's above 60 FPS right now and it's at a very beautiful number. Oh yeah, 69 right there, that's beautiful. If we can manage to get a 69 FPS average, it's gonna be insanely good. For the uh, 300th time, let's just uh, write this down, shall we, my friends? <laughs> let's explode that thing first, there we go, nope. God damn it, alright, as you can see, even at 1080p medium settings, uh, by this shore at least, which is extremely intensive, we're getting 50s, yes, 50s on a 1660 Ti at 1080p medium settings. For a 60 FPS experience, you'll need to drop the resolution down to uh, 720p maybe. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? This is not too bad, guys. I'm gonna do 1440p now. All right, we just changed the resolution to 2560 by 1440 because I think if we can't get 60 plus FPS at 1080p, I will just uh, deal with the lower FPS at 1440 because it looks way better. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, it's dropping into the 40s now. Still not too bad. It's better than Cyberpunk anyways. Doesn't look as good, to be honest, but... It's okay, you know, high settings would definitely look a lot better and the game is still stuttery, just a little bit, you know, you saw a couple of frame time spikes already. And it seems like it's dropping into the 30s. Yep, this this game is just, it's, it's a little bit broken, you know, in terms of optimization, it definitely is. And we are now playing Rainbow Six Siege using the Vulcan API at the 1440p resolution, 90 FOV using ultra settings. Okay, here we go. Let's start counting our frames here and uh, I'll pick up the diffuser. All right. Oh, 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 what? Oh, okay. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> the recoil. No. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Let's just throw this thing. They, they might be scared of it. I don't know. Jeez! Uh, oh, I'm so bad. Now, the FPS outside are actually worse than inside, and you're probably gonna spend most of your time inside of the buildings here in this game, unless you're like me and you're scared of entering. 
Whoa! Yay! Yeah, uh, we're dead again. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. What can I say? <laughs> okay, I'm finally kind of helping my teammates now. I, I gave them armor, so that that's nice, right? Nice! Finally got one! Yes! And got another one in the same spot. Am I seeing things or... I don't know. <laughs> no, there's one of them. There's one of them. Where did he go? Alright. We're finally gonna win, guys. And I did something. That's enough. Alright, guys. We're now playing some PUBG at 1440p resolution. 2560 by 1440. 100% resolution scale. We're using the high settings preset. The game stutters. It's just how PUBG runs these days. Sometimes it runs smoothly. Sometimes it has an update and it stutters. So, uh, gotta love today's game's optimizations, right? Jesus Christ. I suck at this game. I hate it. That's why we're playing Team Deathmatch, by the way. It feels so damn clunky compared to other shooters games that I see I just stay away from this one at least I won't spend 15 minutes just walking around to die with a bullet in battle royale we're playing team deathmatch now it might actually feel a little bit more clunky to me than to you when you're playing this game because I have massive packet loss issues so yeah it's, it's never good basically it's great amazing lovely match <laughs> there we go finally Yes, I got him. And I got another one. Got him somehow. And we lost. Yay. We got 100 FPS on average and 68 1% lows. And since many of you were disappointed because I didn't include CSGO in the Titan X video a couple of weeks ago, here we go. I'm playing it at 1440p using the high settings with 4 times MSA anti-aliasing. I just spawned, I just spawned, leave me alone. Start counting our frames. Uh, this game is a little bit stuttery in deathmatch, by the way. So uh, if you see some frame time spikes, that's completely normal, especially at higher settings because, well, it's it's CSGO, you know, it's a Valve game. They kind of ruined uh, the performance, actually, compared to what it was a couple of years ago. Maybe a year ago, actually. What? What do you... What the heck? <laughs> okay, buddy, okay. That was kind of weird. <laughs> oh, and again? No, no, not again. Come on, come on. <laughs> He's just... I got too much ping. It's either me or him, I don't know. <laughs> what do you want, buddy? I don't miss. I don't miss. It's only against the other guy with your... God damn it. Why did you... Why are you always in front of me, buddy? <laughs> That's him. No! Where? Okay, okay, no, no! God! So FPS are pretty good, I would like to see higher 1% lows, but uh, that's okay, we're playing at high settings after all. Okay, we're fine. Alright, we got this, we got this. Oh, it worked! <laughs> and we're now playing Watch Dogs Legion at 1440p 80 FOV using DirectX 12 and the high settings with no motion blur. Uh, this is another one of those works of art from Ubisoft in terms of optimization at least. <laughs> but as you can see it's running quite well on the 1660 Ti at 1440p. It's not gonna be a 60 FPS experience. Uh, the FPS are uncapped by the way as you can see. But you know what? It looks decent at these settings and it performs quite well with a 60 FPS average. Uh, not too bad, especially for a single player title again. However, this game tends to stutter a little bit. You can see that the frame time graph is not perfect, so you will feel a couple of stuttering issues here and there. Yee, Jesus Christ, it's stuttering a lot actually. I just, this game is a little bit broken uh, because it's a Ubisoft title mostly. Uh, 
Yeah, gosh. The frame times are way too inconsistent. I don't like the experience here. It's playable, but uh, not really for me. Not the best thing ever. As you can see, water is really intensive. It drops our frames into the 40s. Uh, it's an okay experience. You know, it could use a little bit of optimization. That's for sure. Why are you crying? Hello? You're gonna go, you're gonna go into the water. You are, what is happening? What are you doing now? <laughs> this is cyberpunk. <laughs> and we're now playing Battlefield 5 at 1440p. Everything turned off right here because I don't really like these effects. Uh, but we're playing on the Ultra Settings preset. All right, it's a beautiful map, this one. I like the colors here. Look at that water. Oh, yeah. I'm usually not very good at Battlefield 5 because I can't really spot people that well. I'm not sure if it's because the game has too many details or if it's, it's the, the TAA anti-aliasing. Now, this is very similar to what we got with the GTX Titan X because it's a DirectX 11 title. It does support DirectX 12, but it runs with a lot of stuttering with that API. Jesus, okay, too many enemies there. I'm just gonna uh, go away now. Please let me leave. There are enemies close to us, probably inside of this house. Yep, there he is. There's our boy. We got a little stutter there. Got him. Nice shot, actually. I didn't expect to hit the headshot. No, 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 no. What the heck? That's a plane. That's... That's, yeah, that's definitely a plane. Yes, we got meds there. Uh, oh, it's not F. <laughs> okay, okay. There he is. All right, got him. There's another one. Close. I'm just gonna switch to the sniper rifle and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please hit this shot. No! I needed to hit that shot. Oh, man. You know what? I'm starting to like Battlefield 5 a little bit. You know, these newer maps are pretty good. Don't give up on life, buddy. We will make it. You shouldn't be like that. You, you need to believe that our team will come for us. Look at that. Blackout is nearly here. Oh, it's you, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Eee, what the heck? These planes, man. I hate the planes. God damn it. Maybe that's why Bad Company 2 was so good. Because there weren't any planes. There were only choppers. And they were quite easy to deal with as well. Jeez. Yep. Okay. Well, that, that's it. That's it. I was starting to like this game, but now I hate it again. Thank you so much, planes. And we are now playing Horizon Zero Dawn at 1440p using ADFOV 100% resolution scale and the medium settings without motion blur. These are the same settings as the PS4 Pro. And here we are. Let's start counting those sweet FPS. It's right around 60 frames. I kind of expected it, but uh, at the same time, this is very similar to the GTX Titan X and uh, it's a DX12 title, so I expected this one to perform a little bit better. I'm just talking about that GPU because I really like it, it's one of my favorites in my collection. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, you can actually have a pretty good Horizon Zero Dawn experience with the 1660 Ti. The graphics look beautiful like this. The game was actually made to look like this in the first place because it released for the PS4 uh, back in 2017. And when it actually released on PC, it was completely broken. It stuttered a lot. The performance wasn't really there, especially for the Nvidia cards. Uh, but now, fast forward like a year or so, and it's running absolutely fine. No stuttering issues. Oh god, okay, okay, this is, this is a way... Oh, Jesus, okay, no, don't do this, don't do this. <sighs> alloy, alloy, everything is fine, everything is fine. You know what, one of these days, I will be able to kill one of these guys, but today is not that day. <laughs> No, 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 what, what is he gonna do? Oh my god, okay, okay. Concentration, completely playable, by the way. You... No! I'm gonna die. Yeah, okay, so that's been it. Very, very nice performance. 0% CPU usage there for a second. And we are now playing Fortnite at 1440p using the high settings, 100% resolution scale, DX12 instead of DirectX 11 and Performance mode. And of course, ray tracing is disabled. All right, so Fortnite has a huge stuttering problem, okay? Uh, as you can see, the frame time graph will be all over the place in this game and uh, that's just 
how it is. They, they haven't fixed it. It's been like this for like two years and they don't really care. Now, if you play two or three entire games, you know, uh, it will load in everything and it will stop stuttering in the third or fourth game. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the first experience that you're gonna have in Fortnite is gonna be stuttery every single day. We are in the whipping woods. It's not running too bad aside from the stuttering issues. And uh, yeah, it's completely playable. I could definitely play like this if I really, really wanted to play this game. But there will still be some frame time issues, as you can probably tell. Another problem is this game is full of bots, probably because I suck as well, but I would like it if they put real people in my games, okay? <laughs> oh god, that's a massive st- oh, okay. Just because it's probably loading some things, I just... Ah, completely bro- What is a shark doing there? Completely normal. Completely normal. And for the final game of the video, we got Apex Legends. And we're playing it at the 1440p resolution using low settings with very high textures. I don't think anybody dropped with us, so everything is fine. Let's start counting our frames. And as you can see, it's dropping into the 60s and 70s. Not too good, you know, but uh, again, it's it's extremely inconsistent, the performance of this game, and you'll see why in just a little bit. Right here, 1% lows are already in the 50s, by the way. It did drop from 60 there. Then you, you just move over here and you get like 100 plus all of the time, 160s. Like, th this is insane. It goes from 50 to 160 FPS. But aside from the waterfall area, I think this is a pretty good experience. Even near grass, you can get 100 plus FPS, as you can see. Okay, alright. Where's my boy? I don't know, I should probably throw this out. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. This is really, really bad. Okay, 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 okay. I just, uh, I want to see our frames inside our ultimate, by the way, because it's usually very intensive. Uh, did it drop from 60? I don't really know. You can do it! You can do it! Come on! Yeah, 1% lows in the 60s is not that comfortable. I would probably play it at 1080p. Our boy actually revived us, guys. Look at that. That's a very good team player. I like that. Thank you very much, buddy. Okay, that guy has no shields. We should move out of here. Uh, should probably not have done that, you know. Um, okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good. How that? That was just kind of bad luck and uh, me being a noob but yeah uh, we did it uh, it's okay the experience not what i would call a competitive experience just because of the massive slowdowns in some areas but it's okay it's very playable still so it is conclusion time and do i recommend the geforce gtx 1660 ti in 2021 actually i do recommend it if you can find it for like 200 to 250 dollars or euros uh, in the current market that's actually a pretty decent deal now we tested it at 1440p in most of the games because well first of all it can actually handle it and second i think 1440p is kind of the future it's a very very good bump up in resolution coming from 1080p it's very noticeable and i definitely recommend you to get a 1440p monitor these days uh, but if you want to use it at 1080p i think it should probably last you a few years because at 1440p it did a really good job at pretty much everything we threw at it so 1080p is obviously no problem and that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already i'll catch you guys in the next one very soon good luck trying to find a 1660 ti used or new for a decent price at least and i'll catch you guys in the next one very soon love you all Bye-bye.